March 9th, 2010, and we're back with Dr. Jack Sarfati and Dan Smith here at uh, Star Drive Studios in San Francisco. And we're going to pick up where we left off the other day. And uh, apparently uh, Ron P. had asked Dan to discuss certain things today. So, Dan, the show's yours. Okay. No, well, he didn't, no, he, he didn't suggest any content. He oh, okay. Suggested a stage prop here, which... Which Jack has. Oh, I see. Oh, the Glenn, the Glenn, the Glenn, oh, the Glenn Fittich. Fittich. Well, here's Glenn Fittich, 12 years. I'll raise my glass to that. Okay. What was it that Humphrey Bogart? Uh, no, what was it? No, what was it Frank Sinatra said? Oh, yeah, Frank Sinatra. There's a quote from Frank Sinatra we saw when we went out the other night. Something to the effect of, I feel sorry for people who don't drink because when they get up in the morning, that's as good as they're going to feel all day. <laughs> that's in Sodini's restaurant in North Beach. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dan. All right. Uh, so I just drew up drew up a list of uh, metaphysical metaphors here that I was going to try to bounce off of Jack, see if he can see if there's any uh, connection. And the one we the one we've spoken about is the holograph, and and Jack is made. A possible breakthrough in in the um, cosmic holography of of uh, explaining dark energy as a um, back action of the uh, future Omega hologram, which is out there maybe 15 billion light years away. We keep getting closer to it, but yeah, it's far. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and. Um, and that's also, you know, the mind of God. Right. It, it acts, as you say, you say it acts as Excuse me, did you say 15 billion? Yes. Billion. Oh, yeah. God, I thought you said 15 million. I was worried there. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's that Woody Allen story. You know the Woody Allen story about that? Woody anyway, Allen. go ahead. Right, go ahead. Oh, anyway. Um, and, uh, that's a very good summary, by the way, Dan. Excellent. Yeah. And, well, I must and, wait. I've got to tell people. Uh, Dan does have a master's degree in physics from Princeton. Two, two of them. Both from Princeton? No, no, no. no one uh, from Maryland. Yeah, one. Two. He has two masters of reason physics. One from Princeton. One from the University of Maryland, and a bachelor's, which he did in three years in physics from Stanford. So he's not a, a total idiot. Even not though. total. <laughs> but you know, I'm trying. You may look like one. Give me that. Yeah. I, I, I can't talk as fast as Jack. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's not as dumb as he looks. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead, Dan. Right. That was very good. I, I, yeah. I, A plus, yeah. by the way, Dan. Yeah, that was right. Excellent. Yeah. I'm a fast study. You're a fast, fast study. study. Well, right. Stanford, yeah. Sure. And so there's a wave guide out there, 15 billion years away. That's you know, the huge thing that, that is is the mind of God. Well, I call it the brain the of brain, God. Uh, the the brain, brain in which brain the mind brain. is the uh, software. Yeah. It, it's the hardware, the brain. And that could be B-R-A-N-E or B-R-A-I-N. as I was trying to explain to Jack, that must mean that God is awfully stupid because the only thing that, that comes, comes from the mind of God is, is this one measure of, black, of, of dark energy. Which is one, you know, that, that's, which is one I don't know number. if it's the only thing because the idea is that we are all holographic images of which the brain of God is the hologram, see? Well, so, so it's projecting well, us in some mysterious way, which I don't fully understand myself. We, it is projecting us as holographic images, and since we're holographic images, we're like, uh, uh, you know, compressed files, so we don't have all the complexity and richness of God's mind. We are just right. images, we are like compressed files, homomorphic right. images, many to one homomorphic images, but go ahead. Yeah, and, and I was relating that somewhat to the Mandelbrot set. Yes, there which, certainly which, is an analogy with the Mandelbrot set. Which is Not, kind of the re, the reverse. You you get with you put in two bits, four bits of information, and you get out an infinite apparent a a, 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 a a theoretically, you get an infinite complexity of of little bronze. The Mandelbrot set for the audience is a recursive infinite fractal. Um, image. Yeah, well, maybe you we see on some people's T-shirts on hippies used yeah, to have it yeah. on their on their T-shirts. Uh, there, there's a lot I can say about that. What what the, why that analogy actually breaks down? It's a little too simple. But let's go on with let's make your points before I get you know into any details. I mean, it 
the analogy is not a perfect analogy. It'll break down. At, at well, a no, point, no I, nothing I do is perfect. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm not into right. perfection. I'm right. just into You're not. Okay. Getting oh, what's you know what's the difference between a mathematician right. and a physicist, Jack? Ah, right. Physicists the the are difference not, between yeah. a mathematician and a physicist right. yeah. is that a phys you know you have a pretty girl out there, and a mathematician can only ever get halfway to that girl. But the physicist can get close enough for all practical purposes. Now that's all I'm. I'm not asking to get. You know, is that to, is that think, fi, is that paraphrase of Feynman? Uh, that, you know, I don't. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. And anyway, I'm saying we can get close enough for all practical purposes. All right. Well, which which is which may be C twenty twelve. See, I don't think God is. God is 15 billion light years away from us. Now wait a minute, even though he's fist spatially maybe 15 billion light years away, because we're connected by the light cones, and mm. the, proper, the proper time difference between us and God is zero. Because yeah. Because it's, uh -huh. it's, it's uh, coming on, yeah. on, uh, yeah. that's, that's coming pretty on close. the light cone, okay? That's pretty so, close. Uh, but why don't you talk about this uh, psychic barrier of the U.S. government remote viewers, the 2012 barrier, you know, right. that screen. Talk right. about that, that you know, when, when um, it's reported when, when individuals get abducted, that if you try to remote view it or regress to it, you come, come up against screens, like a screen memory, which in, where you see, you see an owl. And an owl? Did you say an owl? Oftentimes, it's, you know, you'll, you'll, see, you'll come up, you'll see an owl, and that will actually, though, if, if you penetrate further into that screen or into that memory, you know, it turns out to be an ET, something. Oh, know, really? Something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you get, and so there are the, these these screens of protecting. Prote yeah, it's like cosmic censorship. This is kind of like now. This ET is being reported by uh, were these military remote viewers, or were they private? I don't. I, I, yeah, I don't, I just seen, I just pick things up out of the ether. Okay, and this is like internet urban legends. Yeah, right? urban this is not, internet legends. This is not the, inside the, information. That, that right. some remote viewers are reporting with the, when they try to view into the future that they can't get past 2012. Mm -hmm. And I'm suggesting, well, maybe that's because we all get abducted. Or at least the remote viewers get abducted, or they die, or they die, or who? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, I, you're, I, I don't think it. Yeah. Okay. I'm not asking you to think, Jack. Okay. I'm just asking you to uh, art, be oh. artistic. Yes. Artistic with this. Yes. Poetic. Putting on your other, your poetic. Yeah. Well, poetic. I mean, my occult. My occult. occult poetic. My occult thing. My occult. Uh, right. Yeah. Right. We, we, the dark. The dark. The dark side of the dark energy. E, all right. Okay. Okay. And um, so, but you know, and also maybe it's it's the the holographic plate is well. Who was it? Who well, was no. it? You're you're. Um, we were talking about earlier the um, Dan Aykroyd. Yes. Who said that you know in 2012 there's going to be a a change of consciousness and um, well a lot of new age people a lot of new that. age people say that There's they also said something was gonna happen in the millennium which never happened so right uh, right I, let's I'm not, skeptical let's not forget the y2k fiasco the y2k is, fiasco yeah. much yes. ado about nothing and in this I'm I in this I'm uh, I, I would not be surprised I'm skeptic I'm skeptic I would not yeah, be surprised you're, you're allowed to be you know and we know that we'll wake up on December 22nd 2012 and it will be business as usual yeah but the thing is this also, there is also the Navy guy who used the Pickerings as the Benowitz and told about the uh, landing in 2017, so. Yeah, there's all kinds of numbers floating yeah. around and we're just trying to see what fits. Because, you know, th this, is, this is now we're playing, see, we're, you were raised playing the correspondence theory of truth, which is, you know, just the facts. You were too. And so it was, yeah, both of us were, were raised that way, like Joe Friday. Oh, you know, just the facts, ma'am. Don't, you know, don't interpret. Don't interpret. Well, that's not quite Well, so. of course, if you're a theoretician, a theoretician then, then, you, then you're allowed to come up with 
mathematical well remember formulas. yeah what what einstein told heisenberg in when 24 25 that the uh, the theory determines the facts as well as the other way around is a, a very delicate you know, well that, and that's also that. Klein's theory uh, the 